Again, together, Ansan Sujo and Sri Ram Hatwar, the co-winners of the Scripps Award. The spelling bee had co-winners for the first time in 52 years last year, and it happened again this year, as you may have seen. Come on up, guys. We need to tell you that all four winners of the last two years, uh, last year and this year, where they see kids. Ansan is from Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. He's a gifted musician and wants to be an engineer. Sri Ram from Painted Post New York wants to be an ophthalmologist. The, these two boys correctly spelled so many words that there weren't enough words left on the spelling bee list. <laughs> we'll go al alphabetically, of course, and ask Ansun to speak first, followed by Sri Ram. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to be a recipient of the India Broad Youth Achievement Award. At the same time, I'm very humbled to realize that my achievement was made possible only by God, who has graced me with many talents and abilities. Well, first of all, I have many people to thank for this. I would like to thank first my family for their support, their care, their love, and their encouragement. They were very influential in my life as I was studying very hard for the spelling bee and I could not have gotten any achievements or successes or would be standing here without their care and their prayers. My parents and my sister have helped me in any ways, so I thank them once again. Second, I would like to thank my relatives, my coaches, principals, and teachers for giving me support and covering me with their valuable and precious prayers and blessings. They were very influential in my life, and they shaped who, am, who I am today. Their encouragement has helped carry me through many ups and downs in my life. I would also like to thank the sponsors of this event, India Abroad, and all the coordinators who tirelessly have spent many hours working behind the scenes to give me and other, and other privileged recipients an opportunity to receive a very high honor. I would not have been here standing here and speaking to you if it had not been for you. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit on my spelling bee experience. Um, when, when I was in second grade, um, I was watching the National Spelling Bee Finals. It was quite shocking to me. Um, I saw all these kids, small kids, like mi only middle school probably, and they're mastering these words while I'm trying to guess the first letter. And what's more, all of them were Indians. So um, I was like, I was really interested, intrigued. I was like, I want to really try out for this. So through the help of my parents, um, my parents really helped me through this and helped me study um, as I was not very experienced in studying for spelling. So it was a pretty um, uphill climb as I was going through my uh, elementary and middle school years in spelling bee, as I kept, um, it, it was failure after failure. <laughs> and then I came to my sixth grade year, and that's when I made my first appearance in the national bee. Now, that was a pretty wonderful experience. Like, if you go to the national spelling bee, like, everything's, it's the final, it's the stakes, like, it's the highest. So, I was pretty excited. But, of course, I didn't get very far. I, w I missed the semifinals by one point. It was kind of disappointing, but then I realized I have two more years left. Maybe I'll just make use of them. And e even, though I, even though I failed, I kept going. And that's, that's one thing I've learned through the spelling bee. It's um, failure helps you prepare for success. So in my seventh grade year, I came to the National Spelling Bee again. Um, and this time, I wanted to just make it to the semifinals. Okay, so I made it to the semifinals, and I was, and in the semifinal round, uh, my parents were um, encouraging me. They were like telling me, "Oh, no matter what the outcome is, just do your best." And I, I stuck to that, and um, with the help of God, I, I was able to make it through the semifinal round. And then there came the calling of the finals. And surprisingly, my name was called. 
I don't know how that happened. Uh, so in the finals, I was just hoping to get through and do my best. But, if, but as the rounds kept going by, I was like, oh, I'm still in this. I don't know how. Okay, so I kept going, and it was only through, it was only through God's grace that I was able to um, spell the words out calmly, even though all of them were pretty hard. Um, and and I, I don't know how, but through God's grace, I, I, I won. I was a co-champion with Sri Ram. And... Yes. And so far, that experience has taught me many things about life and about persevering, determination, and reaching my goals. And finally, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has given me eternal life, which is the greatest gift of all. Thank you again. Good evening to all. It is a privilege to accept this award in front of such a distinguished crowd. It is an honor that I thank India Abroad very dearly for. I am sincerely humbled by the opportunity to speak at such an event. And because of India Abroad's service as an important community voice, I know that it is not only my hard work that led me to co-victory at the National Spelling Bee, but also the support from peers, and especially my family, that allowed me to dream big. From a very young age, my parents encouraged me to make my mark on the world as a unique Indian American, breaking any stereotypes, which is why I set my dreams to going to medical school, winning the spelling bee, and speaking at an Indian abroad uh, event. Yeah. Yeah. The spelling bee entails a strong work ethic and much dedication and focus on the subject at hand. Words are fascinating to delve into, for learning obscure definitions can allow me to say words that make my friend's eyebrows rise. Learning etymologies allows me to become a better global citizen by looking into different languages and acquiring terms in my lexicon that vary among cultures. Though the spelling bee may seem irrelevant in the modern era, I am very grateful that I took part in it. For I was able to learn many life lessons, such as handling victory and defeat in equal stride. The pledge to persevere has driven me to pursue more ambitions. Because of all these useful skills in life, I hope to help others get involved in the spelling bee. And since my brother is competing, I help him get exposed to words from different languages and teach him roots. Since the Spelling Bee is such a great forum to exchange ideas and establish new camaraderie with spellers from each corner of the world, I was able to pitch an idea for a new spelling product with a speller I had met from Scripps. My new business partner, Shreyas Parab, and I have conceived of Spell for Success, a software that makes the speller responsible for creating comprehensive word lists, making quizzes, and studying flashcards. We hope to share our love of words around the world for we want to contribute to communities that are not yet involved in the spelling bee. I am glad to have gained so much knowledge and many new friendships from the bee. I am also glad to have represented both the Indian and American community in the spelling bee. Once again, I would like to thank everyone who has aided me on my way to the top, especially my parents. And I thank in and I thank this institution of India Abroad for granting me the opportunity to speak. Thank you.